Hey everybody, welcome back. It's KZ. Now, We're doing some more. Let us depart. Doing some more of this wonderful Persona 5 Royal. Here we are, infiltrating Maruki's palace. Hey. Feels great to be in all this new material. Here's hoping uh, our friends can actually catch up with us soon. As they seemingly have broken through the false reality. Hmm. Okay. Gotta make sure we're ready here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe we open with cert. Thank you for coming. Did you do something to her? She's only sleeping. I've never had any intention of hurting her. Once her inner turmoil begins to settle, I'll have her remember her life as she wishes to live it. The life that she wishes for, huh? Call it what you like. You're merely brainwashing people for your own satisfaction. I'm wholly aware that some will interpret my acts that way. But if that self-satisfaction leads to the happiness of thousands of others, don't you agree that outcome is for the best? If I understand correctly, you went and checked in on your friends this past week. This reality is the one that they all wished for. Did any of them seem troubled by that fact? This reality is the true reality. All you have to do is recognize it as such. Once you do, you'll be just as happy as they are. Didn't you see it yourselves? Your friends don't just want to live these lives. They want you to choose this reality for yourselves and live happily too. Please, I want you to understand, for their sake, as well as yours. Well, it's time. <sighs> For the sake of Yoshizawa-san, and the rest of your friends, I ask you to give me your answer. I can't accept it. Huh? Negotiations seem to have broken down. I see. It seems we still haven't reached an understanding. No. You're not serious. Right? Please. I'm begging you, Senpai. Please let me live as Kasumi. Don't hide. But why? This pain is too much. Why can't I just leave it behind me? Kasumi is gone forever. And, and it's all my... All Samiri's fault. I can't live that kind of life. Oh, shit. Please, don't try to stop me. If you do, then I'll... Are you serious? How stubborn. No matter what you say to her, I doubt she'll understand. I don't think we have a choice in the matter here. I could take care of it for you right now. But you'd prefer her to leave here alive, right? Just hurry up and end this. Please, don't make me do this.
Oh boy. Fine then. Persona. Nice. Persona. Ravage them. Are you fucking kidding? Persona. All right. Whatever I have it. I have endured. What should I go for here? Honestly, physical ointment. Persona. She's spamming this a lot. Persona. Go down. Why are you doing this to me? Please, just leave me alone. Persona. Let's go. There. No way. How is she dodging these? Persona. Go down. Burn her again. Like you lost. Why? Our fight's over. Senpai. No, I can't. I can't go back to being Sumire. You saw it all for yourself, Senpai. It's my own fault that my sisters. Why don't you understand? Please. I beg you. Yoshizawa-san. Mm. I can give you strength. So you don't have to suffer. Doctor. Tell me. If you want your pain to end. And desire. To live as Kasumi. I'll actualize it! Uh -huh. <laughs> Sadly, she has lost sight of herself. She's in pain. Now, be her guide. And together... Escape from the nightmare! <sighs> no, I... I can't! I don't want to go back to my life in Cinders ever again! What the hell? This so-called kindness of his disgusts me. Let's do this quick. I refuse to go back! I'm happy here. This is where I belong! <laughs> I'll rescue you. The only way I know how. It's gone totally berserk. We need to stop her persona. I'll take that. Whoa. What a pain. We'll have to beat it before it heals itself again. It's time. All right. There. You get strong. I'll break them. I'll take that. 
Ugh. Hmm. Do we have anything that can clear that bonus? Doesn't look like it. Alright, here's the plan then. Clearly, I have to have someone with concentrate. Alright. Alright. This turn, we concentrate. Get rid of the box. Ah, damn it. There's no way I can prevent that. Persona. Go down. See, this, this is why I hate resistances. I should just spam Maggie Dole own every time. That should do it. Turn. I will never go back to being such pathetic, soot-coated garbage! You can't tell? It's her refusal to accept the truth. <sighs> we can't afford to waste time on this shit! <sighs> Here it comes! I don't think so! The backup. Damn it, Skull. I told you not to rush him by yourself like that. At least it seemed to work out in our favor. I knew you'd be here. Our apologies for making you wait so long. Is that... Akechi-kun and Dr. Maruki? Who she's always trapped by... Why is her persona doing this? What in the world is going on here? <sighs> so much of this shit makes no sense, but we'll cover it later. We've got to stop her first, right, Joker? All right, let's get in formation. Leave the navigation to me. Let's push them back. Unbelievable. Why did they come here? I'm given the balance. For my joy. Denied. It's time. All right, then. All right. Back to the original plan. None will stand in my way. Break them. Stop! Persona! Now that's power. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and give me this one. We're going all out. Boy, is he taking some hits. aware however we need we need traditional heals at the moment you can only do it one at a time so eventually, this shit's gonna fall apart for you. All right. Persona. That should do. Persona. Persona. 
Of course you block win. Thank God she just doesn't do drain every single turn. get this prepped for when he summons more. Of course we're getting misses now. I'm like, I think our damage is good at this point. Not anymore. That was the one thing I needed you to hit and it missed again. God, this game sucks. It's so bad. It's a really bad one. Oh yeah, you block win. My man's is gonna die soon. What are you doing? Thank you. It looks like it's working. Just hang in there a little longer. Go. Are you okay? Keep an eye on your health. Persona! Actually, this might be good if you try to absorb that one. Its health is really low. You'll probably pick the left. No! Okay. That's the ticket. Yeah, we need to go in hard. Garadine. Uh, nothing I can do about that. It's just, just free heals. Ugh. Thank you for fixing the problem. Nice. Let's do it. Reminder, 
finish him off. You've all... I can't believe you've thrown away your happiness just to come here and... And how? It's impossible. You're... You're Dr. Maruki, right? <sighs> That's right. More importantly, why are... Dude, what the hell's Doc doing inside a palace? He's ruling this palace is what he's doing. What? Not only that, he's the one who's generated this whole distorted reality. Isn't that right, Marek? All of this was done for your own joy. Our joy? That's right. I only wanted to grant your wishes. Each and every one. Wait, you what? What do you mean? We never wished for anything like this. Is that really true? Huh? No, never mind. So, you all intend to deny the reality I've created for you. If you want to fight me, then so be it. If you plan on changing my heart, that's fine too. But before that, I think there's still room for discussion here. Also, I believe taking care of Yoshizawa-san is more important than settling this issue right now. Planning to run again. We can get back to fighting if that's what you really want. But I think you're rather exhausted at the moment. <sighs> Yoshizawa-san! There's still time. February 3rd. I'll hear your final decision on the 3rd. If your views can't align with mine by then, We'll have no other choice but a physical altercation. As much as I would loathe that, I still can't give up what I've started. What I swore I'd do. On the day I lost everything that mattered to me. I've lost his reading! I want to pursue him, but I doubt that's even possible right now. Let's get out of here. Yoshizawa's gotta rest anyway. I'm still just as shocked as I was when we first came here. The navigators return to our devices. A palace is visible in our own reality. Um, does this mean reality's broken right now or something? Something to do with Dr. Maruki, anyway. Hey, how much do you already know about this stuff? So, oh, Dr. Maruki, he altered our reality to make our dreams come true? This is all too much for me to handle at once. Apologies for the interruption. Mind if I interject? That's right! Akechi! There's no reason to be defensive. Had I wished to kill you all, I would have simply done so already. Akechi's not our enemy. So you're not here to fight us. I've already put our feud behind me. Not only that. Since he and I both refuse to accept reality as Maruki sees fit to make it, we currently have the same goal. So what you're saying is you're using him. What about the rest of you? Considering how you were all living your ideal lives in that other reality, 
Until you decided to come here. Maruki seems to be telling the truth about taking your happiness into consideration. While his heart is distorted, he is quite different from the adults whose hearts you've changed so far. Now that you know his intentions, I'm most interested in learning whether you still plan on fighting him or not. What do you mean? I'm up against someone with the power to distort reality as we know it. The more allies on my side, the better. If we all share the same goal, shouldn't we join forces and improve our art? <sighs> I'll be going now. Be sure to consider my point. Hey! Hey! Jeez. Yoshizawa, are you all right? I... Can you stand? Oh, yes. Good, my back's gonna give up. I'm sorry that I caused you all so much trouble. No, no, you don't need to apologize. We should probably go our separate ways for now and discuss it at a better time. Yeah, tomorrow we can... Oh yeah, third semester starting up tomorrow, right? I guess we're going back to school, huh? We still don't have any idea what we want to do from here on out, though. We've got time. Maruki said he'll wait until February 3rd before... Let's really think it over before making our decision. Yo, welcome back. Didn't know you guys were out together. Wait, what's wrong, Futaba? <sighs> hey, Sojiro, is Mom... Mom? You mean Wakaba? Well... What about her? Uh, nah, it's nothing. It's just I happen to remember something about her, that's all. I see. Okay, then. You know, I caught myself thinking about her earlier, too. <laughs> Odd coincidence, huh? <gasps> well, I'm gonna head home for the night. How about you, Futaba? Mm, I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. I see. Don't stay out too late, all right? The place is all yours. You've got school tomorrow, too, so get to bed at a reasonable time. Mom really is gone again. Sojiro sees it that way, too, now. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you what happened before we came to rescue you. We all ended up here at the same time after you left for Odaiba. What's that? Wait, you're... What the? I'm... Oh yeah, that's right. Why were you human, Mona? Yeah, you're supposed to be a cat. I am not a... Oh wait, yeah, I guess I am a cat. How did we never realize? You know, we've got more important things to do than sit around here and figure out what happened to us. That's right! You said he was headed to Odaiba, correct? And with Akechi-kun? We need to find them! Once we got to Odaiba, we spotted the palace. You know how the rest goes. You were fighting this whole time, weren't you? While I was just... Bumming around town without a care. I'm sorry. Deep down, I always suspected something strange was happening. Something wrong. But being with my mom was so much fun, I just... I stopped trying to figure it out. Uh, but I totally snapped out of it thanks to you. I'm all good now. It's okay if this is painful. Stay up late. You might end up oversleeping. We've all been through too much today. Let's try to get some sleep. Huh. 
You were quite the looker. What? Mm. Yep. <sighs> hey, hey. Needs a oh. new trance. Very good. Yes. Wait. Can I make tools? Oh. Persona 5 got a Persona 5. Oh man, I haven't been back here in a bit. Oh yeah, the, the vibe here will be different. It's been quite some time. Yep. We have finally succeeded in reaching you. These clothes. You have been imprisoned once more. This time, not by the God of Control, but a different entity. One who's bound you through your future. However, you held fast to your free will and believed in your bonds, allowing your friends to regain their own realities. You are on the verge of grasping a potential reality once more. Our meeting again now within this place is proof enough. It seems the time has come. What do I do now? We are merely beings who provide aid to humans as they carry out their will. You must be the one to determine the path and actions to take. If the will of rebellion still thrives within you, then we will surely meet again. Lady Levens had told you that? You ought to tell everyone else that too. Let's all meet up after school. I'll be honest, I'm kind of um, a little disappointed. Uh, I was kind of, I spent that time hoping that we'd like, you know, have Igor say a few things and then I forgot that the original VA passed away and that I'm pretty sure almost all of his lines in Japan were reused lines from older games to account for that. Which also makes the cool metatextual thing of you know he passed, so when he had a different voice in Persona 5, people were like, oh, they just went a different direction this time. But it, it's a trick, because it was evil. Y'all the bow bow of. Uh, you know. I, I would have I liked them to just maybe just recast when they made royal content, just so they could give him some stuff. But, you know, whatever. Oh, yeah, how you doing? Good morning. Um, I'm sorry. I can't believe what I tried to do to you two. I genuinely cannot apologize enough for what happened. Oh, come on. There's no need for that. More importantly, how have you been? Physically, I'm fine. But mentally, <sighs> to be entirely honest, I'm all mixed up. Are you okay? My memories are still pretty fuzzy, and I haven't really processed everything yet. I'm going to need a little time to myself to think things through. I have to figure... I'm gonna blow everybody's mind here. Um, now that Kasumi has decided to be who she really is, Sumi Ray or whatever. Um, her her real look actually looks a lot better than her her other look. Time's up. Just just saying. Man. Whatever, my knowledge is maxed out. We're good.
Let's meet the hideout. Hey. We have to choose our own path. Eh? The Ketchi had mentioned that we needed to determine what we'll do from here on out. It seems he was right. We can accept this reality, but that means we'll have to fight Dr. Maruki, right? That's right. We have to confront Maruki and steal his desire. In a way, it's business as usual for us. Dr. Maruki is an adult with a warped desire. But that desire is just a wish for us all to be happy, right? I admit, it's nothing similar to the desires we've seen in the likes of Shido and Kamoshida. The Phantom Thieves only change the hearts of evildoers. Dr. Maruki is quite different from our past targets. Well, I think we already know what we gotta do. Haru's right. Dr. Maruki ain't a shitty adult at all. There are probably plenty of folks out there living all happy in this reality. Who knows? Maybe Dr. Maruki is actually doing the right thing. But we all still feel like this reality's wrong, right? We decide what's right for ourselves. That's what we all agreed on when we went after him in the palace. If changing Doc's heart fixes our reality, then I'm gonna do it. Uh, so... somebody say something? Uh, sorry, I, I was just thinking about how right you are, Ryuchi. So we're going to change our target's heart not to reform society, but to acquire the reality we believe in. That doesn't sound bad at all. Then it's unanimous. Well, that means our next step is pretty clear. Check out the palace. Right. Maruki said that he'd be willing to fight if we are too. It's safe to assume he's expecting us to infiltrate his palace. That reminds me. You know that, uh, uh reality bending stuff? Why is Doc able to do that anyway? I've been wondering the same thing. Even if he was the top cognitive science expert, that wouldn't be enough for him to do all of this. If we're going to fight Maruki, we'd better dig up some more intel on him first. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Come again. Yes, allow me to repeat myself. Good day. This is Lavenza speaking. Lady Lavenza? Your will of rebellion has reached new heights. We would like to aid that will, if you find it agreeable. That'd be helpful. Wait, how is she even calling you? And how'd she know how high our wills are? <gasps> Did she tap your line or something? Her timing was just too perfect. Maybe she actually did. I have performed no form of electronic surveillance whatsoever. Apparently, she can hear you. There's something I wish to tell you regarding your current situation. However, I'm reaching the limit of my communication ability with this method. Let us meet in person tomorrow. Uh, where? It would be best for me to select a location considered easy to reach by all parties. Therefore, let us convene at your school. At Shujin? Wait, she'll be at the school? Lavenza will? In that case, I'll see you tomorrow. She hung up. Is she really gonna go to our school? Just walk through the front gates like nothing? I'm not sure what to make of it. But since we've determined our goal and Lavenza's offered to help us, I'd call that progress of some sort. All we have left is whatever we discuss tomorrow at school, Plus, whether or not we're going to team up with Akechi. Considering what he told us, really does seem like we share an end goal with Akechi, but... Well, I think we ought to team up. Mm-hmm. Me too. Are you sure? Dr. Maruki's strong enough to change reality itself. If we're gonna fight him, we're gonna need Akechi's help. Plus, if he does betray us again, We'll just take him out, too. I guess that settles that. Let's all meet at Shujin tomorrow. 
I'll take care of figuring out how to get Yusuke and Futaba in the school. I appreciate the effort. Thank you. All right. Let's head home for now. Morgana's on top of it. For real? Yeah. I'm gonna just, uh... Okay. I just wanted to engage with the game mechanics, but uh, Persona 5 got a Persona 5. Doesn't seem like nothing. No. Hey. <sighs> you owe me one. I'm nowhere near cool. Nowhere near it. What? <laughs> Listen up. Oh, this is that. I haven't seen what any of these look like. Let's see what your third form is. Oh. Oh, shit. All right. Diego. <laughs> Let's do our best. Right. Let's turn in for the night. Miracle Rush. Medi medium physical to all foes with high chance on critical. Oh. Ooh. Let's uh, see the trophy. See, see, something that makes me sad is like I looked up well I didn't really look up I saw it on my like Twitter timeline at some point like a month ago where people data mined this game hey, wait. Seriously? some praise of the gods uh, they're really strong oh uh, they love to party how numerous they are uh, the 10,000 gods. Hmm. Oh, that's disappointing. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I couldn't help you. Like, I looked up, um... There's just one time where... Twitter was like, wait, they data mine Persona 5? busy lately. Don't forget to eat lunch. As for myself, be sure to order some jelly-filled bread and... And people found that uh, the third awakenings for all the characters were fully voiced. I didn't like look at it, but apparently they didn't include it in the game. But in the files that they had all the people voice acted. Uh, which, now that I've seen it like this, how the fuck, how, how did you have them voice it but not put it in here? What goes on in Atlas? What's their damage? Hmm? That's... Let's follow it. Yeah, let's go. Hey. 
Hey. Hmm. Their heroes, the best in the world, the best in the biz. like my dream. Lady Lavenza. Hello. Thank you for coming. Uh, thank you for coming. I see. Exchanging common expressions upon meeting like humans do... It has a rather pleasant feeling, but that is irrelevant. Let's turn to the matter at hand. As I told you yesterday, there's something I wish to tell you. But first, please gather your other friends here. Here? You want to meet in the nurse's office? This place is filled with the cognition of bed rest. Maintaining my existence in a reality controlled by someone like Maruki is no simple feat. But the exhaustion that it induces is limited by this place's cognition, so I may converse with you all in person here. I... see. Let us continue this conversation once everyone involved has convened. Until that time, I will provide my eyes a much-needed rest. Wait, rest? Uh, Lady Lavenza? Oh. I guess we should get everyone in here. Infiltration success. I'm rather surprised no one took notice of us. Considering how I don't have an adequate excuse for the school to approve your being here. We are lucky it went as well as it did. As long as you maintain an air of confidence, you can fool just about anybody into thinking you belong. I must say, though, I hadn't expected you to actually reach out to me for something like this. Well, it's just as we said before. We've accepted your offer to work together. Now's not the time to let personal stuff get in the way of our goal. But if you ever betray us again, we'll make sure you regret it. All right, then. That's no concern of mine, anyway. Remember what I told you all before. We share a mutual interest. Until Maruki is defeated, we have a deal to uphold. It appears that everyone's arrived. Does this mean you're ready to begin? Uh, ain't that our line? Care, care to fill us in? Yes. I wished to speak with you about the circumstances that led this Maruki to alter reality as you know it. As well as the true nature of his power. You know all of that? I admit there will be a degree of speculation involved, but only to a small extent. First, I will explain the situation with the current reality. I believe that Maruki has altered the cognition of the masses. In other words, it's thought that the alterations he's made are the result of his meddling with mementos. He changed mementos? How is that even possible? How'd it come back? How'd he do that? Wait, don't forget about our experience with the Metanav in Maruki's palace. It seems like this kind of thing has a habit of sticking around despite our expectations. Mementos is the cognition of the masses given form. If that man is truly capable of controlling individuals' cognitions, and that man were also to gain access to Mementos, 
it would be no surprise that he could impact everyone's cognitions and affect reality itself. Uh, could he really have done all that? I mean, it's assumed that Dr. Maruki has the power to control cognition, right? Exactly. That man's controlling of cognition... Let's see. Why don't we refer to his power as actualization? Most likely, that actualization is a power unique to a persona. In other words, this man named Maruki is... He's a persona user? That's impossible. There's no way to have a persona and a palace at the same time. Determining when Maruki first awakened to his power is wholly impossible. However, by the time he crossed your paths, there's no doubt that he was making use of his actualization, although he may have only been doing so subconsciously. Even if it is just his subconscious, he's using a persona in the real world. So, his ability to make Yoshisawa-san think she was Kasumi-chan... It was most likely through the use of actualization. Still, though, even if we assume that Maruki has unique persona abilities, such as the case with him and myself, he still need Right. Even if there were some kind of power that could affect mementos, it's on a whole other level from what we've seen so far. A single person just shouldn't be capable of all that. That's true. Changing reality just by thinking about it isn't something humans do. It's something that, like, gods do. And what if he became such a god? What? The god of control. Indeed. The being in mementos that you all defeated was a false deity that the masses deludedly clung to. It is easy to conclude that Maruki simply took over the false god's position when it disappeared. Took over his position? What do you mean? So you're saying society thinks of Doc as a god now or something? No. The Phantom Thieves are the ones who gained the masses support after defeating this so-called god of control. So it would follow that the masses would turn to the Phantom Thieves next as their savior. In that case, why did they instead turn to Maruki? who did none of the work the Phantom Thieves did. Mm. Wait, you Wait, what? what? What do you mean? Do you mean? We, we never wish for anything, anything like that. Like, like, like. Is that really true? It's most likely because... We chose him. What? After we defeated the God of Control, we wished for reality to be like Dr. Maruki described it. And it happened? <sighs> what about our counseling? Looks like you all walked right into the spider's parlor. There's no way of knowing how many of those situations were intentionally orchestrated by that man. However, the result is still the same. A desire for his actualization was seeded within your hearts. Thus, I have no doubt that it was your own desires that led to their actualization. So this is all our fault, huh? We're the ones who told him the cognitive world really exists, too. He has to be stopped. Right, let's fight. If this is our own fault, we've got to be the ones to fix it. Yes, this realization changes none of what we must do. Very well, then allow me to proceed. This world is in a very unstable condition currently. On the day that the God of Control fused mementos with the real world, the merging was undone through your efforts, and the two worlds are now attempting to return to their initial states. So, 
What you're saying is this world has reverted to a state where the fusion with Mementos hasn't been totally undone. That explains why Maruki's palace was visible in Odaiba. Even as we speak, Maruki is still influencing this world in places where its boundaries are blurred. As slow a pace as it may be, he still continues to actualize the world of the masses as a whole. Should this continue, reality shall merge with Mementos once more. The two worlds will again become one. When that happens, anyone trapped within the actualized world can never again awaken to the original one. No. This issue goes beyond the masses as well. Although you are all Persona users, it would be next to impossible to defy Maruki in a world completely under his control. To be clear, once the two worlds conclude their fusion, there will be no chance of your success in this mission. And I believe this fusion will conclude in one month's time. We only have a month. If memory serves me correctly, February 3rd was the date Dr. Maruki gave us, right? Could he have possibly chosen the time limit based on when his actualization will be completed? It's possible. If that's the case, we don't got another choice except to steal his treasure by then. We'll need to secure our route to the treasure by the second so we can send our calling card. Then, on the day of, we're most likely going to have to fight Maruki. Allow me to produce the calling card. This is certain to be our final card. I'll pour my heart and soul into its creation. Be that as it may, there are still some unsolved questions. You mean the meta nav? Right. What's the deal with the palace's name? Doesn't seem to affect the app's functions, but... That must also be a product of Maruki's cognition. He most likely learned that you could somehow infiltrate the metaverse. As long as he permits your existence, your method of infiltration will not entirely disappear either. However, in his heart he must have feared you would learn his identity as the palace's ruler. Perhaps such a feeling took the form of hiding the ruler's name from you. But in that case, why didn't Dr. Maruki just actualize us out of existence entirely? Maybe uh, that's how he does things. Maruki told us he wants us to accept his world. It may be hard to believe, but since we mutually benefit from his actualization, maybe he really does want us to submit. Sorry, even if it does fix shit for us, I, I just can't accept the world getting treated like that. Let's start the infiltration tomorrow, yeah? And you? Sound good? You're willing to ask me as well. Duh, dude. The fan thieves don't act unless it's a unanimous vote. Hmm. Fine then. You know I have no intention of accepting Maruki's world anyway. Then that settles that. Wait. What about Yoshizawa-san? We may not have summoned her as one of the phantom thieves. This definitely involves her as well. Maybe we should fill her in on our situation once she comes to terms with her own. What she does with that information, though, that's up to her. Right. If that concludes matters, I shall continue to watch over you, Trickster. Please show me the path that you choose for humanity. Guess we might as well close up for the night. Hey, once you're done washing that, you can go ahead and call it a welcome. 
Um, Yoshizawa? Have a seat. She's here to see you, right? Now, don't worry about finishing up. I'll take care of it later. Sorry for coming over so late. And thank you for the coffee. Mm, it's delicious. Mm. Would you mind if I got something off my chest? Thank you. So, to tell the truth, I saw you all go into the nurse's office today, and, um, I sort of eavesdropped on your conversation. Hmm, about the actualization? You've all found the paths you want to take, and are following them with such confidence, whereas I'm simply... Like Dr. Maruki said before, I ran from the truth. I couldn't handle the fact that Kasumi died because of my actions. My memories are still a bit hazy, but even when I remembered that I'm really Sumire, I didn't want to accept it. I was still running from reality, where Kasumi is gone, where I had to live for Kasumi instead of as her. Do you still want to run? No. Like I said earlier, I realized something when I saw you all striving to push onward. I can't keep running like this. But now that Kasumi's gone, I have no idea what to do with myself. Senpai, what should I do? You have to decide, not me. You can be awfully firm sometimes, Senpai. But you're absolutely correct. I must thank you for allowing me to unload all of this onto you. I'm still not completely sure what I should do, but I plan to think more on it. I've got to figure out what to do with my life now. Let's reform society. You know, <laughs> we gotta reform that society. Too sweet. It's very important. Put him in. I guess I'll work on some stuff here. Hey, hey. You know, one of these days I'll be allowed to play the game I bought. Uh, hopefully the game remembers it's a video game. <laughs> one day. Let's go. Okay. I remembered it was a video game again. Oh, it's. Hello, everyone. You're going to fight Dr. Maruki, yes? Please, take me with you. Uh, but you can't go in dressed like that. Please, I'm done running away.
I can't keep relying on people like Senpai. I want to live life as Sumire. <laughs> Color me impressed. Looks like she'll do just fine here. Time to team up. Thank you. In that case, we gotta come up with a code name for you. A what now? It wouldn't be right if you were the only one going by your real name, you know? Oh, you're right. Joker, got any suggestions? Appetite. Uh, that seems a bit... Senpai, even I get full from time to time. <laughs> uh, that's not really the issue. Then how about Violet? It's Sumire in English. Violet. Yes, let's go with that. Excellent. Now remember everyone, Violet, not Violent, Violet. Yes, thank you for clarifying. I am surrounded by absolute fools. <laughs> Are we done? We should probably get moving. I know, I know, jeez. Come on, Violet, let's roll. Yeah. Um... <sighs> yes. Joker! Alright, let's set up uh, our party setup. Yeah, we'll have these two, and... The other choice is kind of hard. Yep, Morgana's got a new persona. Why not? Hmm. I could check in here. Welcome to the Velvet Room. I have been waiting. Indeed. Indeed. Not voiced. Possibility? Then... Very well. Welcome to the Velvet Awaken Room. Awaken your news performing a fusion. Which persona are you looking for? Oh, I can make a uh, fast. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. Look at look at you. We got. It seems to hold a vast amount of power. We got. We got bow. I guess I can make ball just see see how he goes. Sure. Choose which skill to inherit. Uh fire skills, wind skills. Yeah, you know, wind skills, why not? Ah, he's gonna learn vacuum wave. Okay. Sure. Do that. Tetraja? I don't think I need Tetraja. Vacuum wave, I do. Revolution, I never really use ever. 
It seems to Ooh, I can make Mata. I wish they recorded uh, more than one line for her in terms of like for each type or that she didn't have to say it each time because they're going, this has a vast amount of power. I'm like, I wish he just wouldn't speak because all of them are going to say that. All of them. Every single to one. Will you give birth? Ah, this is a big boy. This is a big, big man. Same with you. Oh, you need a lot. You need a lot. For Lucifer, I need multiple things that I need to, like, create through group fusion. Yeah, that's gonna, that's gonna take some work. Did you change your mind? Hmm. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here, because we've been going for a bit. I could get some breakfast or something. And next time, uh, I may have messed around this fusion menu. And people were like, Casey, don't you do it. Don't you do it. And I'm like, you can't fucking stop me. It begins soon, fools. Shop, shop.